And we've seen the effects of changing weather firsthand. Historic flood damage last July left individual farmers with an estimated $61,000 in damage and crop losses. And neighbors quickly rolled up their sleeves to help. Multiple agencies partnered to launch Dig, Dig Deep Vermont, a campaign to provide micro grants and interest free loans to family owned farms recovering from the damage. The Agency of Agriculture just announced the first recipients last week, and now we're checking in with local growers on this Earth Day, just about three months shy of the first anniversary of the floods. NBC 5's Anna Goober joins us live from a farm in Colchester, where we actually toured Anna right after that damage. That's right, Lauren, and the owner of Sam Maz's farm here in Colchester tells me they actually fared pretty well compared to a lot of farmers around Vermont after July's historic flooding. But she says unpredictable weather patterns, rising temperatures and heavier rain have created many challenges for Vermont farmers and they're learning to adapt to unpredictable situations. It's very frustrating and stressful. Uh, yeah, you never know if you're going to get a crop to the end and if the crop's going to be saleable when you get it there. Unpredictability is one of many challenges Vermont farmers are facing in the wake of constantly changing climate conditions. Just ask Lori Bombard at Mazza's farm in Colchester. We seem to get a lot more rain um, and even in the winter time, I remember there were two, three feet of snow most of the winter. She started working on her family's farm nearly 50 years ago. Now the owner and manager of the business says she's experiencing a very different reality. We, we hope for snow to cover up the strawberries a little bit to give them a little bit more shelter, but it's just not happening anymore. So yeah, it, I mean, it's a lot different. And her crops are paying the price, especially last summer after a late frost followed by historic flooding. We, we grew um, a lot of our pumpkins and fall crops down by the river in a piece of land that totally went underwater. And so everything on that property was lost. But she's grateful the damage wasn't worse. Other farmers weren't so lucky, some losing entire fields after the torrential rain. That is really tough on a farmer. Um, it, it does a lot to your land. It makes it hard to work because you can't get into it. And then you put all your, your the expense of the seed and the labor and your crop is ruined with a flood. That's why she says Vermont farmers need local support more than ever as stronger, more frequent storms continue to create challenges for this critical economic sector. The best thing people can do is buy local when it's available. And if you're looking for a way to support our local farmers, you can still donate to Dig Deep Vermont's Flood Recovery Funds. They have funds running for different counties and on a statewide level as well. And you can find that on their website, digdeepvermont.com. Live in Colchester, Anna Goober, NBC5 News.